And he knew his love, you know, on his sister. It's not good, Betty. Oh. I feel rotten. I've hardly given her a second thought these oh, past dear. few months. I've been that wound up with this place and the wedding plans. Yeah. See, we're not that close, to be honest. She's a few years younger than me and, well, you like different things, don't you? So yeah. you have different friends. And... Yeah. I've got a sister, you know, Maggie. She's younger than me, four years. Oh, it's like me and Sharon. Yeah. Do you see much of her? No, no. She lives in Africa. I mean, she got married, but, uh, well, her husband's dead now, and uh, but she still lives there. I don't suppose I'll see her again now. I'd like to, though. Uh, Betty. Yeah. Yes, love? Have you finished your tea? Only I'd like to have a word with Shelley in private. Yeah, right, love. I'll just go and get the meat. Right. It's a bit rude getting rid of Betty like that. Oh. Well, I've had enough. I Means you're going to be crying into her tea leaves next. Anyway, you know, Betty's not the only one who's lost a sister. Oh, I, I know, love. I know. Yeah, anyway, look, uh, There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Shell. Yeah, me too. Only, can I go first because I'm getting myself all worked up about it? Uh, yeah. Well, it's about our Sharon and, well, you know how bad she is and I've just been thinking about the wedding. What, do you mean postpone it? I mean, until she's a, a bit better? Uh, no, I was thinking of bringing it forward. Bring it forward? Well, I don't... I don't mean to sound dramatic. You know, our Sharon's always had her illnesses and she's always pulled through, but... this time, when I talked to my mum on the phone, I... I can tell in her voice that... she's really worried. <laughs> I've lost me dad and I'm gonna lose her as well. Hey, you're not gonna lose her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, love. What, what did it? Uh, what did you want to say? Oh, I, um. Uh, I, I just think you should go and see her. You know, it'd be good for you, be a good break for your mum, and, uh, you don't you worry about this place. I'll... I'll keep my eye on this place. Oh, are you sure that'd be brilliant? Oh, love, what would I do without you, eh? <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> her that well. I mean, when Susan got married... That's Peter's twin, yeah, yeah, he talks a lot about her. Yeah, well, when she got married, Jessica and I were both bridesmaids. Well, I saw her a couple of times after that, but I was just a kid. I think she had an annoying voice, you know, dead squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. They lived in, um, in Southampton. Now, talking to bridesmaids, would you be one of our witnesses? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Good. Because I don't suppose the rest of your family will come. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll get to meet them one day. Mind you, they'll probably hate me. They'll think I've trapped Peter through pregnancy and got him to finish with Shelley. Yeah, well, if you put it like that, you're going to fit right in. How do you mean? Well, you know the film, The Adams Family? Yeah. Well, me ma'am, she's like Morticia, except for without the dress sense. She sits around all day and she expects people to run round after her. She'd been married three times and she had loads of affairs. See, Mum and Dad, they're not married. Oh, they were ages ago, but they're not now. See, her surname's Rashid because her last husband was a Moroccan. Oh, and Dad's older than her. A lot older. He's not my real dad. No, my real dad's in America, but this one, Ken, he adopted me when he married my Mum. See, Peter's his son from another marriage. I think my Dad's been married three times, but well, it might be four. Oh, and there's another son. Daniel, he lives in Scotland with his mother, but she won't marry to dad either. Oh, and then Susan, Peter's twin, well, she had a kid that no one knew about for 12 years. He's away at school. His father once had an affair with me, ma'am. Oh, and then there's my gran. She's a right old sour puss. She's just like me, ma'am, but older. I'm telling you, they're freaks, a lot of them. You're going to fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> you have me going there for a minute. I'm sure they're just ordinary people. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting them. What are you worried about this place, all right, love? You'll be all right, won't you? Of course I'll be all right. Me in a pub on the old all night. It's my idea of being in heaven. <laughs> You've got all my numbers, haven't you? you? Yes, Betty, will you tell her? Well, look, if you won't listen to you, she's not likely taking any notice of me. That, come on, you're cluttering the place up. You see, you're getting under Betty's feet. OK, come on, then. Part of me doesn't want to go, cos I'm, I'm scared of what state I'll find her in. Look. Whatever state she's in, it's better that you see her, eh? Yeah. Now, come on, eh? Hey, you're gonna miss your train. Okay. Hey, what would I do without you, eh? Oh. <laughs> see you later.
Ballo. Oh, hello. Lucy, about? On a dinner. You told Shelley yet? Change the record, will you, Tracy, please? Oh, you're pathetic. Yes, and you're a nag. Yeah, well, I'd rather be me than you any day. So what's your excuse today? Well, if you must know, Tracy, she's gone to see her sister in Bradford. Oh, how convenient. Yeah, well, just tell Lucy I called, will you? You can tell her yourself. Hey, Lucy. Hey. hey! To what do I owe this honour? Mm. Well, I've been thinking, look, you know, there's something that I don't know about you. Only one thing. I get the impression there are plenty of things I don't know about you. Go on. Do you snore? Do I? Mm. Um, I've no idea. Why? Is it important? Yeah, it is, because I'll be conducting an experiment this evening. Go on. You, me, your bed, eight hours sleep, I think that should prove conclusive. You're staying the night. How? Why? Well, she'll needed a bit of time away, so she's gone to visit her sister in Bradford. Really? Yeah. Mmm.